Hello everyone, hello everyone, welcome to a, another video and in this video we're going to learn parts of speech. These are important to know and to understand, okay, because uh, after knowing or learning parts of speech only then we can uh, learn about prepositions or adjectives and their precise use of the words because some words as an adjective they have different meaning as a noun they have different meaning or as a verb they have different meaning okay an adjective cannot be used alone so mostly students whenever they learn some vocabulary words they struggle to use the words in a proper way so if they learn parts of speech they can uh, you know learn the different meanings of a word as an adjective as a noun as a verb it, if if, if uh, the word has uh, a meaning as a noun, as a verb, or, or, or as an adjective. So then they can use those words in a precise way in their writing thoughts and also in their speaking, okay? And also, uh, additionally, you uh, or most of the students, they struggle to use prepositions or they don't know how to use prepositions. In my next videos, I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll teach in detail the precise use of prepositions okay so before that this is the first video and I'm going to create a whole uh, uh, you know list of these videos so you can follow the list and then uh, uh, next videos you can also want to learn the precise use of prepositions okay so let's start first of all uh, sorry uh, first of all parts of speech what do they mean so let's look at the definition so words are divided in different kind of classes are called parts of speech so the division of words into different classes that is called parts of speech okay so there are how many parts of speech uh, in the past let me tell you here here in this PPT you see there are in total eight but in the past articles like a and the they were also considered the part of parts of speech but now in the modern English we do not consider articles uh, in parts of speech so in total there are eight now in the past there used to be nine okay so what are these eight uh, noun pronoun verb adjective adverb preposition conjunction and interjection okay so try to understand them well and uh, we're going to talk about all these eight in this video okay let's look at the first one noun it's a very simple one noun is the name of a person place thing or idea simply the name of anything that is called noun for example, here you see some examples like man, boutique college, house, happiness, okay? So the, the name of a person, place, thing, college, idea, whatever, sorry, uh, place, thing, or idea, or a person is called noun. For example, we can say Tom Cruise, it's a name of a person. Uh, if I talk about place, then we can say, well, uh, Washington, D.C., it's a place, so it's a city. So it's also a noun, okay, of a thing, for example, uh, uh, a water bottle, okay, it's a thing, okay, idea like here, happiness, whatever, okay. So uh, look at this example and we see there are uh, three nouns here. The young girl brought me a very long letter from the teacher and then she quickly disappeared, oh my, okay. So here the girl is one noun, letter is the second one teacher is the third one okay so these three are noun in this example and we will continue this example and we will see the different parts of speech or different you know kind of words and what do they mean and uh, are they noun are they pronoun whatever we'll see in this example okay now let's look at the next one this one is pronoun so what is a pronoun a word that we used instead of a noun okay so if we are talking about some uh, someone for example we say uh, albert okay albert is a boy albert is a tall boy albert is going to school albert uh, uh, comes back from school at, at 12 o'clock albert uh, studies english albert uh, likes to play cricket whatever okay so here albert 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 is like keep repeating so 
to overcome this like use of or overuse of noun we use pronouns so what are the pronouns the words that we use instead of or in the place of noun okay uh, for example she we they it and in the case of Albert we can say he so these kind of words are pronouns okay now in this example we see uh, uh, this one me is a pronoun because we are using it instead of the younger uh, or the younger brought me uh, sorry uh, it is for me okay uh, instead of saying my name we use me here okay and here and then she quickly disappeared for the younger we are using she instead of the young girl okay so here we uh, see a couple of examples of pronoun me and she in this example okay let's move on to the next one that is verb a verb is simply any kind of action okay uh, or uh, or being uh, a verb expresses action or being something that you are doing okay uh, for example playing cricket here playing is an action uh, drinking water here drinking is an action okay whatever uh, jumping writing whatever so these all are verb or all are actions okay so here you see some examples jump is write, become so let's look at in this example what are the actions or what are the verbs we can find like here the young girl brought me a very long letter from the teacher and then she quickly disappeared oh my so here you see brought okay bring this is the second form of bring brought here again disappear the second form is disappeared again uh, disappearing is a verb is an action okay bringing is an action is a verb okay so i think it is very easy nothing to worry about uh, you can easily understand this okay next one this is uh, important to understand adjective because uh, sometimes the words they have some uh, meaning as an adjective for example if I say uh, the word uh, history this is a noun but if the word we convert into historical then it becomes an adjective and we can say we we want to know more about history but we cannot say we want to know about we want to know more about historical what historical historical is an adjective this word is an adjective so we must use it with a noun so we, we can say uh, we want to know more about historical places or historical events here event or places this, these are nouns okay so adjective you cannot use alone so let's look at the definition of adjective what adjective actually means an adjective modifies or describe describes a noun or pronoun okay so what actually adjective is we are actually adding a word that is des describing or giving us more information about the noun okay that is called adjective it, it, it could be a good quality a bad quality or some kind of quality for example tall okay he is a boy here we didn't use any adjective but if I say if I want to add more information in this sentence I can say he is a tall boy here tall is giving more information about the noun the noun was boy okay so this is an adjective so let's look at some examples of adjectives pretty old blue smart okay and in in our example uh, here you can see the young girl brought me a very long letter from the teacher and then she quickly disappeared in this example the young girl okay here we, we, we could simply say the girl brought me a letter but young is an extra information is in quality or something uh, and this is called as adjective okay and uh, uh, brought me a very long letter from the teacher here long is also an adjective okay now let's look at the next one adverb an adverb uh, an adverb modifies or describes a verb an adjective or another adverb so first of all we use a verb and then we can you know use an adverb and to, to express uh the extreme level or something or you know we are adding more information with the word for example he is walking okay here uh, he is walking so simply walk is what walking is uh, a verb okay but if we say he is walking slowly slowly here you may say is an adjective he is walking very slowly 
okay very slowly here we added an adverb with an adjective okay so we can uh, see in the definition an adverb modifies or describes a verb an adjective or another adverb this adverb could be added with another adverb okay so look at the example some examples of adverbs gently extremely carefully well okay so in in our example we can see here the young girl brought me a very long letter from the teacher and then she quickly disappeared oh my here two are adverbs very and quickly okay so i hope you understand this uh very easily now let's move on to the next one this is preposition one of my favorite one and the most important one because uh, if you don't know how to use prepositions uh, in an accurate way or in a proper way then most probably you cannot use uh, english grammar properly okay so what is the definition of preposition let me read it out for you a preposition is a word placed uh, before a noun or pronoun to form a phrase modifying another word in the sentence okay uh, forget about this definition let me tell you uh, a very easy one prepositions what they do they actually have no meaning okay if i say in what what does it mean on what does it mean but once they are used in a sentence what they are doing they are actually clarifying the meaning of the sentence if you do not use prepositions then you cannot uh, express what you, exactly you want to say for example i say the book is stable what do i mean by this sentence nothing but I have to use a preposition to express myself or to explain the sentence in a proper way. So if I say the book is on the table, here I also use an article the, but I, if I say the book is on table, you can easily understand there is a book that is placed on the table. Okay, fine. But if I don't use preposition, you cannot understand what exactly or what I want to express. So these are very important. Why they are used? First of all, they clarify the meaning of the sentence and they have no meaning by themselves like if they are used alone they have no meaning but once they are used in a sentence they clarify the meaning of the sentence okay now let's look at the example of preposition in this example the young girl brought me a very long letter here from from is a preposition here from the teacher and then she quickly disappeared oh my so here from is uh, preposition and let me tell you here that I'll uh, I'll make three videos about prepositions because there are three kind of prepositions uh, prepositions according to time according to place and there are some other important prepositions okay so according to time their uses is different according to place their uses is different okay so we'll talk about this in detail so uh, make sure you follow all these videos about prepositions these are very important and very useful ones for all of the students okay now let's look at the next one conjunction conjunction uh, a conjunction joins words phrases or clauses what it does actually it, it you know it connect two sentences together a conjunction and once we will be learning about simple compound and complex sentence structure then we will talk about conjunctions in detail over there and there you will see if some relative conjunctions are very important because once we want to make a compound sentence so we are using some conjunctions to connect two independent clauses or two independent sentences together okay for example here and but or while because these are all uh, uh, examples of conjunctions okay so there's a uh, there's a small difference in between conjunctions and prepositions prepositions they clarify the meaning they also connect two sentences together but conjunctions they do not clarify the meaning but they just connect two sentences together or two independent sentences together in the compound sentence structure okay for example here the young girl brought me a very long letter from the teacher so this is a one independent sentence an independent sentence or independent clause is one which is clarifying the meaning itself and it doesn't need any other phrase or a sentence to clarify the meaning so this is one sentence uh, starting from the young girl and ending up from the teacher so this is one sentence okay and then uh, from here then she quickly disappeared oh my and then she quickly disappeared this is another independent sentence 
connected with the conjunction and over here okay so basically this is a form of compound sentence structure where two independent sentences or clauses are connected with a conjunction in this case is and okay so conjunctions what they do they joins word they joins words or they join words phrases or clauses together okay another very simple example could be uh, ali is going to the park but he is not going to school okay here we use but to connect two independent clauses together and but is a conjunction okay let's look at the last parts of speech section and that is interjection okay so what are interjections these are sudden feeling or emotions or uh, the way or the words we use to express our emotions okay and interjection is a word used to express emotions emotions like if you are about to fall uh, fell down you may say oh okay like this a sudden feeling and express or emotion wow or oops okay these kind of words these are called interjections okay so in our example the young girl brought me a very long letter from the teacher and then she quickly disappeared oh my here oh my is a kind of interjection okay so i hope there is no problem in this uh, video or in this lecture for you if you have then try to put your question in the comment section and i'll reply to to your questions as soon as possible keep learning well and don't forget to follow my next videos about prepositions those videos would be really vital for all the students who want to speak or, or, or learn good English or they want to become better at writing English, okay? So very important ones. And if you find any problem, any question in this video, you can ask me on my email address. I'll put my email address in the description section. And also you can, uh, you can write it down in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. And in the next video, we will learn prepositions. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Uh, Take care of yourself and your families. Bye-bye.